Don't look for sports. Don't look for sports. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jones here on Jones for Sports. And today I just want to talk about um, the All-Star Weekend. It's a great weekend. I'm sure most of y'all watched it. I watched most of it, most of the um, activities. I didn't watch everything, but um, it was a good weekend. But, um, you know, start off, you already know what y'all was supposed to do. Hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, the whole nine um, to get more of me, you know, and my thoughts on sporting events or whatever the case may be. But going forward into All-Star Weekend, this All-Star Weekend was very special for many reasons, um, but the number one reason for me was for this guy right here. Dwayne Wade, again, his last dance in the All-Star Game, um, All-Star Weekend, so I'm very happy for him, proud of him, um, glad that Adam Silver um, selected him and uh, Dirk to play in the All-Star game. That was pretty dope, and they both showed out, um, had a pretty good game. Dirk hitting a few game, um, big shots, Wade hitting the shots and alley-oops and things like that. Um, but let's start off from the uh, beginning. Like I said, I didn't see the celebrity game or some of the other things that were going on, but the first thing I did see was um, the skills challenge. And for me, that was the first dope thing I saw because they switched up the format a little bit. Some of the same, you know, things that they had to do, but the format and how they did it, teams and, um, you know, the, the matchups were really, really, really dope. Um, I like watching it. It was, it was cool. Um, damn, I forgot who won, though. I forgot who won, but whatever. It was it was good. I enjoyed watching that. Um, I saw a little bit of the, um, a little bit of Celebrity Game, mostly highlights. Um, my boy uh, Ray Allen hitting some big threes, four play threes actually. Um, that was cool to see him out there. Um, another thing, seeing all the um, the top three or four um, three point shooters in, of all time out there with Del Curry, um, helping him, you know, try to raise money for a charity. That was pretty cool. That was dope as hell. Um, just to see all of them all at once at the same time. Now, it would have been dope if they hit, you know, a lot more shots than they did. I think they hit 11 out of however many there is, but um, it was still cool to see that. Um, next was a uh, three-point contest. I love the three-point contest. It's always one of my favorites to watch. Um, didn't expect Joe Harris to pull it out. Shout out to Joe Harris. Boy could shoot. I didn't know about him like that, but boy could shoot for sure. Um, I thought Steph was going to take it the way he, um, his first round was amazing. Had like 27 points, something like that. And then um, the second round started off hot. I thought he was going to hit all of them. He hit 10 in a row, I, I believe, and finished strong. But he, uh, after that first 10, he, I think, missed like five in a row, something like that, and was like two or four points shy of winning the, the whole thing. Um, but that was cool. It was cool to see all those guys get hot. Buddy Hill, um, Seth Curry, Damian Lillard, Booker, Hill, all great shooters, all have bright futures in this league, especially the way it is now. Set up for three-point um, shooters. There's no better you know, event to watch than the three-point contest when you got all these shooters um, in the league and the way that the league is set up now. So that was pretty cool. Um, dunk, con dunk contest, I didn't get to watch all of it. Um, but I did watch the last, the final round um, with um, Dennis and, um, um, sorry, OKC Diallo. Um, those were some amazing dunks he put on. Um, Dennis as well, I would have been, the, the dunk that he tried to get, I forgot what it was. If he would have got that, that would have been crazy in that final round. Um, he missed it, but, you know, it's fun to see them even attempt it. So that was dope. Um, Diallo, though. The one over Shaq was ridiculous. To jump over Shaq and then put your elbow in the rim and hang on it like Vince, that was some new shit. Like, he just added a whole new thing to it. So that was pretty dope. Um, and then the All-Star game in general was just amazing. Got to see Wade, Dirk do their thing. Wade get, got his lob to LeBron and got one himself from LeBron. So that was dope to see those two on the court for one last time. Um, definitely going to miss Wade. In this game, seeing him play, and, you know, with all these greats, with LeBron, and it is what it is, though. LeBron, you got to hold it down for the next three years. 
without your boys, um, D Wade over there. So, um, but yeah, that was just my thoughts on the All Star Weekend. Tell me how y'all thought um, it went. It was one of my favorites of all time, honestly. Um, I've seen a lot of them, and this one was definitely one of my favorites, um, especially that it was a comeback. Giannis team had a great start, but Team LeBron, you already know what he do. Greatest comeback of all time, so it is what it is. Your boy Jones here on Jones of Sports.